Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to uh, Bioshock Infinite. Uh, we completed the main game, the really engrossing story of Booker DeWitt and Elizabeth, uh, their journey through Colombia and of course their end. And uh, well, the only thing that's left to us now is after we played Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2, Minerva's Den and Bioshock Infinite is now of course the DLC for Bioshock Infinite. This series is gonna be a bit different than the ones before since I haven't yet played Burial at Sea either neither episode 1 or episode 2. So this is gonna be a normal let's play, a blind playing through. Uh, of course, I have a lot of background in uh, everything Bioshock, so I should be able to tell you guys a bit more of what is going on. But aside from that, I'm going in completely blind. Shocking, I know, but I never got around to playing the DLC when it came out, and this is actually the perfect opportunity for me to do so. So, Burial at Sea, Episode 1. Uh, let's go with, of course, New Game, and then let's select Hard and uh, continue on. Here we go. So, as with all my playthroughs, I'm going to try to be as thorough as possible. We're closed. And try to explore a bit. Who can afford to turn down legitimate work. 1958. <laughs> so that's rapture time. We're still playing as Booker. How about we start with a light? But it looks since it's 1958 that we're not in Colombia cuz Colombia was 1912. 1958 is more the era of Rapture, because of course uh, Burial at Sea is pointing to the fact that we're going to play through Rapture, but why is Booker, of all people, in Rapture, and especially Elizabeth, because she sounds a lot like Elizabeth, and of course this must be her. Hello there, you look a bit more uh, enthusiastic than before. Sexy, if I might add. And there we have Incinerate. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her? This girl... This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. With Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you know. As I said, girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get... Lost isn't dead. Name your rate, I will pay you for this work. You do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. Okay then. So we're again going for a missing girl. So the the team of bring the girl and wipe away the dead. Well, maybe no dead this time. But it is about a girl again, Sally. And Booker was holding a doll's head over there as well. Seems like everything else is pretty much the same because he has the Pinkerton's badge. Um, Booker DeWitt investigation, so he's a detective, which still fits with his storyline. But of course he was using Incinerate already, so he has the Plasmid. And it's not Devil's Kiss, because those are two different uh, types of magic powers. And there we go, Rapture, no gods, own or kings, only man. Where's Sally? I don't know, but I know someone who does. Follow me. Hmm, so 1958 is when Rapture was still A-OK, -okay, as you can clearly see, because I think this is the date that everything goes wrong in, right? Because it's New Year's Eve where the uh, Kashmir restaurant over there is attacked by uh, Fontaine's thugs, because the Kashmir restaurant is pretty much one of the first areas you go through in Bioshock 1. But this is cool. This girl to you? What I need from her is my business. I know where to start looking. Something tells me a man with your particular talents could be useful. Okay, it does look a bit... How should I put it? It doesn't look like it's been polished as much as the other parts of the Baisho collection. Afternoon. So a lot of uh, magazines about... Well, Andrew Ryan clearly. And lusts for some reason. That must be uh, this version of... Uh, Rapture's version of Playboy. Damn, I don't know where to look first. Sinclair Spirits, we know that shop. Can we go in? 
Ryan. <laughs> He's a big fish in an awful small pond, you ask me. Anything you say, pal. If I was running things, I'd say, why just one city? Why not two, eh? Why not three? Yeah, why not, eh? Because the city on the uh, water is really cool and there's another missing girl over there. I don't know why the face looks like that, because it seems like it's been blurted out. It's not going to help anybody finding the girl. Newspapers. Anything else we can see out the window? Clay, then Einstein would have remained a patent clerk. It's our responsibility to strive. Here, here. Okay. Those ladies having a very interesting conversation. Friend. Such a shame. Is she talking to me? So Sally is Booker's friend, not his daughter or something like that? Because we know, of course, by now, since we... Uh, well, spoilers ahead if you haven't seen Bioshock Infinite yet. If you haven't, go check that out first. But, um, yeah, Elizabeth is Booker's daughter. What are they? Where have you been? Cabin in Arcadia? Green means little go. sisters. This Atom factories. All little girls it's grotesque. Know. It looks like they are pretty... Well, they look pretty fine right now, but the... The only problem is with that is that Elizabeth doesn't know what little sisters are, and if she was from Rapture, then that would hey, mean she keep moving, buddy. she would know that, of course, because well, there's stuff about little sisters everywhere here. So does that mean this Elizabeth is one of those alternate dimension Elizabeths we saw at the end of Bioshock Infinite? Is that why we came to Rapture? And there's something wrong here. In Red Hook. We're just men and women, Alan. You hold yourself to that standard, you'll never be happy. In what country is there a place for men like me? Men who refuse to say yes to the doubters and the parasites. Yes, yes, but even Andrew Ryan takes a vacation. That sound like, sounds like Fink's voice. That was really weird. So, Elizabeth is clearly not from around here, but why is Booker in Rapture? That is something else. Must have do... Must have has... Must... Must have something to do with the alternate dimension stuff, but is it a pneumo system? That's interesting. And there we have a big daddy. What do they even look like under those suits? What you mean? They're just some kind of machine? No, they're not. Oh, what? I've never seen a big daddy use his drill like that before. He used it as a grappling hook. That was awesome. Um, hello, sir. Good day to you. Well, I say you should have to prove you're properly versed on a topic before you're allowed to vote on it. Otherwise, it's just a knee-jerk response from the uninformed. Does more harm than good. Who would judge that? A system like that invites abuse? Having a benevolent dictatorship takes care of that. Benevolence isn't human yeah, nature. Yeah, benevolent dictatorship. That doesn't sound like something that's going to be... Okay. Ooh. Crackers! Ooh, give me those crackers. I can go in here, apparently. Get on with it. The elevator seems to be broken. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, there we go. Audio log. There's 17 in this game, apparently. Ryan's been good to me. Few are the patrons who truly understand the struggle of the artist. But even I was a little leery when he shuttered Fontaine's business and sent that bald buck to a grave deep in the briny. But when Ryan buried all of Fontaine's pals in that department store, someone had to find a home for all those freshly minted orphans. And if I turned a dollar or two in the process, you can hardly blame me. For doing well by doing good. So Santa Cohen apparently took care of the orphans from uh, Fontaine's crooks that died when Andrew Ryan uh, performed that raid on their uh, compound. But how how does that factor in? Because uh, we know Santa Cohen eventually walks away from Andrew Ryan because he doesn't they don't see eye to eye anymore. He works for Ryan's security firm. I got it firsthand. Cooks a fella from the inside out. Damn thing, a weapon or an oven? Works with mini rays or, or microwaves? Oh, I can't remember. Ooh. All I know is it sounds dreadful. That sounds like a weapon. A microwave machine. Um, that doesn't <laughs> sound like a weapon. Maybe a microwave gun? Okay, they're laughing. 
arts, science, industries, industry, so still the same teams as uh, originally. I'm fine right here in Rapture. Okay, yeah, you're fine. Until uh, in a few hours, where everything's gonna go to shit. And Andalusian arms. That sounds good. Hello. This is really cool that we get the we get the time to explore. The house, He'll toss you out on your ass again. The house dick. And he he knows me apparently. Can I go around here? Got some nerve showing your face around here, pal. Okay. Booker seems to have some history with these guys over here. And we're in the the Andalusian arms. Funny. That's interesting. What? You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture, that it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it. Your girl. But... She sounds like the version of Elizabeth we had at the end of Bioshock Infinite, so she sounds as though she doesn't care anymore and she knows pretty much everything. That's why she's talking about uh, her sources not well, being her own. Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken. Down at Surprise. Yeah, there. We were playing the tables. Uh -huh. She disappeared. And? Cop friend of mine, Sullivan. Says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. I'm taking you to one of them. <sighs> that Sir, was right? the baptism fault. Get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. So, wait. We're getting flashbacks again to when Booker was, uh... Refreshment, sir. Well, r Madam? We're fine, thanks. Well, at the point where he split into Comstock or not. What the fuck? Okay. So now Waiter is, an, is a... Yeah. A Houdini Splicer. Or will become a Houdini Splicer. So, Sally got away while disappeared when Booker was gambling at Surprise over there. The casino we know and love. And uh, she was probably abducted to turn into a little sister, but why do we get that flashback? So that means Booker might not be from here either, which might make sense because we know Booker is not from Rapture. He's from somewhere else and from some time else. Le temps perdu, so the lost time in French. Fitting. So it's clear that people here use plasmids willy-nilly. We know it kind of was like that in Rapture before, but it's really interesting that it is like this now. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, you know a few of the shops. La Marquis de Poc is someone we know. I think it's sort of yeah, a winery. Ooh, what's this? Back again, and so soon. This is weird. It's kind of like this version of Rapture is mixing in technology from. Huh. From Colombia. Use need to know theater. So th it's a kinetoscope. The greatness of Dr. Bridget Tenenbaum. Are you in the know? Innovation and competition are what fuel rapture. But that fuel can be diluted with rumor or flat out lies. The rumor monger asks, what are these so-called splicing side effects? Well, take a look around you. Do you see anything wrong with your neighbor? The rumor monger asks, Why has Tenenbaum withdrawn from the public's eye? Dr. Tenenbaum is a scientific mind unparalleled, even in rapture. She's no doubt in her lab, toiling away at her next great innovation. I heard she was in cahoots with Fontaine. Merely slander from jealous naysayers. Remember, Rapture competes through innovation, not cheap shots. Bridget Tenenbaum is a woman who represents the best of science and industry. In other words, she's a Rapture gal. Now you know. No, we know that that's not definitely not the case. 
since we know Tenenbaum uh, was in bed with Fontaine by the end of uh, Rapture's Great Era. But, uh, yeah, people here, well, Andrew Ryan probably didn't want to want want people to know that, of course, so let's get out of the winery and take a look around further. Jeez, I don't know where to look first. There's so many exits. Um, let's go over here first. How am I going to make it work with my leg all busted up like this? Thorman says I should have been more careful. Something will turn up. Adversity breeds opportunity. That's what Ryan says. Okay, then, so a man with a broken leg. More jet postal stuff. Do I actually get something? Soda. And it is Eve. So not salt. It is Where Eve, so that's still the same. Expect me to drink alone? So we know DeWitt is still a gambler, clearly, since he lost Sally at the um, the surprise casino when he was gambling. What the hell? Is this where we need to go? Art Gallery of the Artist's Struggle? No. No, Gallery of the Muses we need to go. That's not where we need to go. I'm gonna assume we will get the opportunity to explore the Golden Rule. There's way too much here. Sander Cohen over there, having a performance probably. Hi, man. I'm a, I'm a famous man. Ooh, I can pick up the money. Ooh, this doesn't seem like I'm doing the right thing here, but never mind. Ryan taking over Fontaine's business. Any different than, say, eminent domain? It's just the hand of government coming down on the individual. Fontaine was a criminal. By whose standards? Ryan's? I prefer when the judge doesn't profit off the penalty. Well, that's in that's the case in most governments, I think, because every time you get a penalty or a, a fine or something, that goes to the government, of course. Uh, Robertson's Tobaccaria. Herr Schmidt. Okay, they also know each other. And then we have the Rapture Record Store. He uses my picture to judge facial symmetry. Darling, that line actually work on anyone before closing time. Okay, so he tried to uh, seduce that woman by talking about his uh, no scene with. Friend. Is that the same? You sell soybeans. I same sell guy. Ugh, it's disgusting. That's the Bible talking, pal. That's your mother talking. What does Ryan say? Petty morality? You can keep it. So those women, those lovely women are prostitutes, but this guy... I, I don't want to be racist here, but this is to be an obstacle the, to the exact same guy, right? That, that's the same guy. Well, let's go into the music store and see what we can do here. Okay. So nice that, that you is found. music from Colombia. That, that's... Playing at the in the background of one of a few of the kinetoscopes. That is interesting. Okay, I can play the piano, but nothing. Doesn't seem like there's much here. Maybe I should go towards we where we need to go first before we go into any of these stores, because I have a feeling that I'm going to be able to explore more when we know what to do. So let's Mr. go Dewey. to yeah. I'll that's find me. My source inside of that club. Does that lunatic have to do with Sally? I think we're about to find out. So, even in his heyday... Oh, wow, look at the whale. Even in his heyday, uh, Santa Cohen was a bit of a weirdo. With these uh, rabbit people all over the place. Let's private party, no entry without prior invitation. I think I know what we're going to have to do. Sponsored by the Artist's Struggle, the Golden Rule and Rapture Records. Let's, let's just knock on the door first. Hello, can I go in the party? Which business do you represent, sir? Uh, business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle, we're expected. No mask, no entry. Stuff shit. These invitation masks he spoke of, they must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business of Rapture is business. It says it's sponsored by the Artist Struggle, the Golden Rule, and the Rapture Records. I guess those stores will be as good a place to start as any. Indeed. So there we go. Now we have the Private opportunity party. to start to look around. No entry without invitation. We'll see about that. 
so bring in a rapture. A man. Really? You don't strike me as the romantic type. Wasn't that kind of man? Then what? There's a debt that needs repaying. I've known my share of Shylocks. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of debt? Okay, I'm actually gonna change the audio levels a bit because I feel like the background noise is a bit too high. I hope that's a bit better. I don't know if it's gonna make that much of a difference. Lost and found. Ooh. Let's uh, take the bullet from the shirt over there, the wallet over there, and nothing in here. I'm just looking for a few audio diaries. The frame rate in this DLC is horrendous at times, by the way, but other than that, this is a great level. There's another one of those need to know theaters over here, so let's check that out. The Big Daddy. Oh, this might be interesting. out of the seabed and guiding structural supports into place. Where do these metal mysteries come from? Sorry, chum. That's a Ryan Industries trade secret. Now you know. Now you know. Because we know how big daddies are made. They're criminals put in a suit. Ooh, we can actually play slots. Well, we're, a, we're playing a gambler after all. So let's 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh. Oh, I did get Just a few. While you're ahead. No, no, no. No, no, no. Give me a few seconds. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything coming out of that. Um, ooh. The watched clock. What is this place? Is this a lounge bar or something? Looks like it. It's rather big. Uh, How do they work? Something about stem cells. What's a stem cell? Who do Ooh. Like Bridget Tenenbaum? Adam Slugs. That is interesting. Adam Slugs. Let's search the purse. No thing here. Just a soda bottle. Let's get into the lounge bar. Maybe we can find something in here. An audio diary or something like that. Um, anything else? Thank you for the music. Can I shut that off? Nope. Can't shut that, shut that off. Because yeah, the music might actually annoy me a bit here. Um, Hello, Booker. Where have you been hiding her? Tip. Okay. I don't think Superman know the meaning of the word. Yeah, so they don't get tipped by the uh, the Rapture people. What the hell is this? Are those elephant trunks or uh, pig snouts? That's really weird. Uh, food, food, food. Oh, there we go. Audio log. It's found an audio log with the door code 2076. Ooh. I had all of these visions before coming down here of Utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. And what is the first thing that happens when I open up shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. It's a problem with coming to Utopia. Is that it still has the people. 2076. There we go. We cracked that code rather easily. Let's take a look around. Um, a few purses here with a bit of money. Because I lost... Most if not all of my money. Then what was that? It was a bear. A watch? Oh, so there's item in, items in boxes that just give me money now. Okay. Seems like there's also another audio diary over here. From Suchong. When Ryan take over Fontaine Futuristics, sin of a terrible violence. Splices burning each other to bits. Lucky ones not killed, sent a department to stop prison instead. Suchong think he dead man too. But then, Ryan comes to Suchong and says, Suchong want to be buried in filthy store? Or Suchong want to make a good salary? Work for Ryan. How much salary? Asks Suchong. 
this, Ryan find it very funny. Yeah, because Ryan can pretty much pay him whatever he wants. Those look like really long women's necks. But the golden rule was one of the shops we needed to go into, so... Cohen shows are highly coveted. Nobody's gonna just hand us one. You think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take the around? You just find the mask. Leave the distractions to me. Hmm. Yeah, I would believe that, Elizabeth. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. The lady has some questions for you. Yes, of course. I'm interested in this piece. Ah, excellent. You've an eye, haven't you, miss? It's a natural sapphire and diamond, 18 karat gold ring, fully hallmarked for Paris, 1887. Really? The center cobachon. Excuse me, sir. That's a lot of fine talk about a stolen ring. I beg your pardon. Okay, right so now the distraction has begun. My life fields. Did you think we wouldn't notice? <laughs> I can assure you that the assurances of a grave robber are of no interest. Okay. You hand the ring back. The matter will remain between you and me. You come into my shop and talk to me. Um, um, mask box empty. Must be somewhere else. Get your hands off me. Okay. So he got kicked in the nuts. Um. Ooh. What is Elizabeth doing here already? Where is the man? Did she just kick him in the nuts and just... Hmm. Ah. Might be best if we were gone when he wakes up. Oh, Any luck? Okay, Nothing. then. Let's find another shop. We did find a lot of money. I'm not gonna Where gamble that away. Next? Upstairs at the artist's struggle or rapture record straight ahead? Um, why do you say that straight ahead? We could go up first because we haven't really been up there yet. Oh, man. This place is huge. So... The artist's struggle is over there. I'm just gonna go to... Ooh, what's this one? Taking the taint out of Fontaine. Let's watch this one as well. Are you in the know? You doubtlessly sample products from Fontaine Futuristics. But do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine, business leader and benefactor of mankind? Or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? At his free clinic, patients became test subjects. And his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Well, they did come out as little sisters. Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But, a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The Council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Well, that was a now way to turn it around. Can enjoy these products. Free of criminal taint. Now Free of criminal taint. Now you know indeed. So that's another one of those. We know that that was, well, only partly true. So let's get into Maison Vosges. Vosges? Vogue? Vosges? Yeah, whatever. Let's go in here. Ooh. Hello, sir. Bonjour, signore. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. I don't know what he said, but that didn't sound like Bon Giorno. Empty purse, empty bag, empty desk. There's a lot of empty stuff in here. Uh, ooh, audio log from Su Chong again. Su Chong observed strangest of coincidences. On the other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Su Chong's own creation on the plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage! Death of intellectual property! <sighs> but man name of Fink is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual property. Two-way street. Interesting, so that confirms my theory about Fink 
stealing ideas from Rapture, such as the designs for Songbird coming from the original designs for Big Daddies, and now, of course, Vigors being a uh, diluted form, well, not really diluted form, uh, a new form of plasmids. So, think adjusted the plasmid, plasmids that he saw Suchong create through a tear, and he adjusted them so they could be ingested through a bottle, so to just be drunk by a normal person. Um, and then Su Chong used that chains in the plasma to sell that to... Hmm... Sell that to Andrew Ryan. That is weird, because I heard a few commercials over here already about plasmids now being uh, drinkable, but that's something that not eventually happened in Rapture, so that's another difference from the Rapture that we know from Bioshock 1 and 2. Interesting. You see that dish I walked in with? Will you give her the star treatment, pal? It'll make it worth your while. Of course, right away. What is this piece? It's by Trinae, but of course, covered by Mr. Reinhardt. Reinhardt, indeed. Because uh, that's, of course, somewhere under the sea, but the original French version, so the instrumental version. Let's take a look around in here. Must be some kind of save as there was in the other... Um, well, shop we've been to, nothing in the case, nothing in the bags, this seems all to be empty. Fiddle cases. Uh, ooh, that's not something I want to do. And then the safe? No. Can't pluck the strings, but that's pretty much it. Where the hell? Aha. Uh -huh. Mask box. Of course, empty. Only one place left. Okay. I'm gonna have to be careful when I go back out because I think the guy is still okay. He's still looking at Elizabeth. I must go. I must go. Even one more note shall prove my undoing. Well, she has a a degree in overacting apparently. So not in the music shop. So only one place left then. So the artists no, struggle that upstairs. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So I'm assuming we're gonna find it right over here then. Um, okay. Kind of got stuck there for a second. Let's open up here. It's, looks like the creepy, like really creepy. Is that Sander Cohen's work then? Why, hello. hello, sir. Hey, pal. You want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. Okay, and there's more music in the background. Original Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. Sneaky, sorry, sneaky, sneaky. I precious little about art. Oh, stop How singing. You feel? Stop I singing. My mouth for fear of what foolish ah, is Ah, come on. Stop the music. Stop the music, please. I'm going to... Where is he hiding that box? Indeed. Uh, let's take... Oh, that was whiskey. That was whiskey. I'm fucking drunk right now. Um, Mask box. There we go. Bunny mask. Bunny mask for me. Oh, Booker, stop the swearing, please. We're gonna stumble drunk out of here. Hello. Oh my god. I'm drunk. Would you mind if I return tomorrow for further education? You're talking to me, not to him. Whoa. Yeah. Whew. That was that was happy for a second there. So that means now we have a mask. We can actually get in there. We've been in there as well, so I think I checked out pretty much everything. Third time to charge. All right, it's best we head back to Cohen's. So indeed, best we head. And there's the whale again. I think he just keeps doing that. Um, so before we head in there, I'm going to take a little break. You got a bit of the grifter. For that, you can thank my father. Oh yeah. He was a man comfortable in a variety of roles. And she's talking about us. So I still don't know. Why we're in Rapture then? Why why is Booker here? Elizabeth tell me, why is why is your father being being me here? So and um field you up. Field. Rapture. Yeah, you know, occupation. Can't imagine what kind of employment would lead you to tag along on a job like this. I suppose you could say I work in debt collection. That sounds ominous. Um so before we head into that lovely place over there. I'm gonna take a little break so thank you guys enormously for watching if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on youtube and when we get back we're gonna 
well i'm assuming we're gonna see sander cohen in his um, theater over there so uh, see you guys next time goodbye